President Trump ripped the Obama administration and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, Friday evening for doing nothing to protect U.S. interests in trade deals after his administration reportedly informed Congress this week that it struck a deal to lift sanctions against Chinese telecommunications company ZTE. National Park Service has concluded that the sinkhole next to the White House poses no threat to the historic building. The intermediary between longtime Trump confidant Roger Stone and WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange said Friday that Assange is willing to meet with ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee Adam Schiff D. Califf. President Trump on Friday expressed for Chicago police officers who have been protesting the city government over contract negotiations. Voters in Ireland appear to have voted overwhelmingly in favor of overturning Ireland's Eighth Amendment, a move that would repeal the country's laws that essentially ban abortions. The Environmental Protection Agency said Friday that Scott Pruitt, the administrator, spent $3.5 million on security over the last year, which Senate Democrats are running with as proof that Pruitt's defense for the spending is an Attempt to muddy the waters, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo wants to expose the wealth of Iranian leaders as part of a campaign to stoke frustration with the regime's economic management and aggressive foreign policy. Florida-based supermarket chain Publix announced Friday that corporate-backed political contributions will be suspended, as we re-evaluate our giving processes, an announcement that came shortly before Parkland shooting survivor David Hogg's die-in protest. Rep. Tom Garrett, RVA, and his wife turned the congressman's staffers into personal servants, former staffers and interns said, according to a report, Friday. President Trump has scrapped plans to sell off the assets of many of the nation's federally owned electric utilities from Tennessee to the Pacific Northwest. The Pentagon has approved another Homeland Security Department request for additional National Guard's personnel in an effort to support specifically U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers working by air, sea, and remote land regions, a DHS official confirmed Friday. Hillary Clinton quipped Friday that should would choose to be the CEO of Facebook if given the opportunity. More than 80% of the public believes that poor access to treatment for mental illness, illegal gun deals, family instability, and domestic violence are responsible for mass shootings, a new poll shows. Senator Tammy Duckworth Deal, a veteran, defended NFL players who kneeled during the national anthem after the league issued a new rule aimed at curbing the protests. President Trump signed three executive orders Friday containing sweeping reforms that weaken protections for federal workers and eliminate perks for the unions that represent them. The special master charged with deciding which materials seized from Michael Cohen's office are protected by attorney-client privilege will give an update to a court in New York next week, according to the Trump administration.